Now this video here will be dedicated to the abusers of GarageBand. In this video what I'd like to show you is how to go ahead and get Superior up and running within GarageBand. Now before I do that let me just kind of throw this out there. I've gotten a lot of questions over the last couple of years pertaining to GarageBand. Specifically what people say is, hey Scott, you know, I, I really dig tune track stuff but I, I don't know how to use it in GarageBand. Is it even possible? And my answer is always the same absolutely it is possible okay and if you'll give me a couple of minutes i'm gonna show you just how easy it is i could see where it might be a little bit tricky but once you see it in action you're like oh well that's a piece of cake man okay so with that being said typically whenever you start a new project you'll be asked hey do you want to utilize a template and you can if you want uh just grab one it really doesn't matter okay we'll just go ahead and uh let me grab the songwriting one for example and press choose and then the new project from template window will pop up. This is where you'll go ahead and name your song. And we're just going to do Superior 2. Hit Create. And this will be the next screen that you see, which is, you know, your arrange page. This is where everything happens, all the magic and everything else, okay? Now, granted, yours will look a little bit different because I'm limited on space. Therefore, I have my screen compressed and, you know shrunk down so to speak all right but nonetheless this right here is your track information button okay you can press that to hide the information or not but what we want to do is over here okay we want to go ahead and hit the plus button just like that there and we want to choose a software instrument all right press create and you're going to have this right here is going to pop up as grand piano that's typically what will happen by default now all you want to do at this point in time is come on over here to your edit tab Click on your Edit tab, and now you see right here where it says Sound Generator. This is where you're going to go ahead and choose the superior instrument. Okay, just click right there. Come on down, and boom, boom, boom. You'll grab Superior Drum or just click on it. And guess what? Now you're ready to rock. But you might be asking yourself, well, where's the interface? I want to do all my work on up in the interface, and that's cool. All you got to do is click right here on this little icon, and then your interface will pop up just like that, okay? And you're ready to go. You see that there? That's cool. But there's something else I'd like to share with you, okay? Now, because it's GarageBand, you're only going to be able to instantiate a stereo output of Superior 2. And that's not a problem, okay? Because there's a couple of things that we could do. Obviously, we'll do all of our mixing within the mixer that's included with Superior. And there ain't nothing wrong with this mixer. Believe me, I've done quite a few projects on it myself. Okay, you can still do all of your routing into the buses and everything like that. Everything is cool. Okay, plus, whenever you're done, if you choose, you can always utilize the bounce function and then import those individual audio files into your GarageBand project and, and tweak them a little more if you need to. Okay, so just because you can't run a multi output instantiation within GarageBand, I don't want you to feel defeated because that is not at all the case. All right, you still have access to every bit as much as any other DAW user out there. You just have to take one little extra step. Okay, but fear not. It is an easy one, okay? And I will show you how to utilize that bounce function later on in the video series, all right? But that is it. Simple as pie, huh? Appreciate y'all watching. Y'all take care. Stick around. We're going to go ahead and cover a couple more dolls. See you later.